Now, our galaxy alone could contain over 100 million individual black holes, but since they emit no light, they are extremely hard to find, unless they are eating. Supermassive black holes that live in the center of most, if not all, galaxies consume an unbelievable amount of matter, forming the brightly glowing accretion disks you would have seen in movies like Interstellar. Now, while you can't see the actual black hole itself, you can see the event horizon, the point of no return, where light is sucked inside the black hole. Now, despite how far away they are and how impossibly hard they are to find, scientists were actually able to take pictures of two using a telescope the size of the Earth. You heard that correct. When you do the math and figure out how big of a telescope you would need to take a picture of one of these guys in any detail at all, you figure out that you need a telescope the size of the entire Earth to have any success at all. Now, obviously we can't go out into space and build a telescope this size. That's just not feasible. So they got creative. By using individual telescopes placed all around the globe, you can create an array of telescopes that could theoretically image the black holes. And so they set two targets, the closest supermassive black hole to us, Sagittarius A star, and the supermassive black hole in the galaxy M87, one of the most massive black holes we know of. Sagittarius A star is actually our black hole that lives in the center of the Milky Way galaxy. It is just 26,000 light years away from you right now. M87, on the other hand, is located 53 million light years away. And do you want to know the crazy thing? It worked. These are real images of black holes, not animations or drawings, real photographs. In his book, when writing about this image, Sagan wrote, the Earth is the only world known so far to harbor life. Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us.